everybody, this is Laura. Welcome to my live. It is Thursday at four o'clock and you are watching Ageless Beauty. If you are new, and I hope you are because it's always fun to have new people too. Um, if you're new, Ageless Beauty is a YouTube channel show. It is me taking over from my old show. And now that I am 50, we are going to talk about all sorts of different beauty for different ages, not just 50 year olds, but for everybody. So today was supposed to be the day that I gave Victoria, my daughter, a butterfly haircut a la Brad Mondo. However, she, okay, if there's a good and a bad here. The good is she got callbacks for the school musical. Yay! The bad is there right now, literally right now. So I'm going to do it to myself. I know. I know. A little scary. That's why my hair is up. So what we're going to do is we are going to, um, we're going to watch a little Brad. We're going to stop it. And then we are going to do it to my head. I'm going to cut my hair all by myself with Brad's help. I have watched the video. I obviously haven't pre-cut my hair because that wouldn't work. Um, so before we start, I have to say, he like goes on and on about how you have to have wet hair, but I'm sorry, Brad, I'm on a live. I can't have wet hair right now. So that's not going to work because I want to be able to like curl it really quickly afterwards so you guys can see the end. So we're going to do it dry. It'll be fine. I have straight hair anyway, right? It'll be fine. I hope. <laughs> okay. So anyway, let's watch a couple minutes of Brad and then we will do what he says. We are going to comb all the hair forward from the apex. So gorgeous, easy. If you don't know what the apex is, it's the highest point of your head. And you can find it if you just lay something flat on the top and you see where it touches. So I'm gonna comb all of that forward from there. This doesn't need to be perfect. You know, obviously take your time with it, babe. Don't rush it. But you're doing great so far. And I'm just really proud of you. Your head is turned this way towards me. That's her nose. We're going to go from the apex to behind the ear. Okay. Just, oh, I'm back. Okay, I'm gonna do the same. Okay, let's do this thing. So I have my hair in a bun for this very reason. Let's take it out. Oh, this is mildly scary. Oh, I was going to show you guys this. I'm glad it's in my hair. So this is on, you know, if you need something on Timu and then you're like, well, I might as well look around. Oh, of course, now I can't get it out of my hair. Um, so I was on Timu and I found this little hair thingy. Do you guys remember the, <laughs> that's attractive. You just remember those um, headbands that were like this, like back in the 80s and 90s so this is like it's basically like pieces of them and you just use them like that to go like around your bun and hold up the hair and back it works really well i'm just saying timu little headband thing i can figure out what it's actually called and let you know all right taking the hair i think it was like 89 cents ps like really really cheap hi michelle hi Brittany. let's see here hi charmaine i'm gonna break this ponytail band because it's one of those cheesy little plastic ones. So I have one of these guys in under. This is, I have very thin hair, as you guys know, because I have trichotillomania, which is an OCD disorder, which means I pull my hair out. Um, it's fine, but it makes my hair thin. All right. Also, I haven't dyed my hair recently, so I look like a skunk. It's fine. It's all fine. I'm going to, I figured I'd dye it after I cut it because that makes more sense for it to be like less hair to worry about. Okay. Now we look like cousin it. Here we go. Apparently attractive, attractive. Okay. Now I find the apex. Oh, look, you guys, I'm just gonna talk to you like cousin it for a minute. I got the scissors, the fancy schmancy scissors. And it comes with the fancy schmancy comb, which looks like a normal comb. All right. I shall find the apex of my head. Appears to be right. This is the apex of my head. That's very important knowledge. All right. So Brad said, I go like that, right? And then like this, he said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. I'm just going to put a little clippy here while we figure out what else Brad has to say. All right. 
back to Brad. Same thing on the other side. There we go, that's right. And that, ladies and gents, and everything in between, that is our first section. Oh, your hair is very soft, Miss Manny Grant. What have you been doing? We got that all good, all pulled tight, looking fabulous. And I am going to use my small teeth on the comb, and I am going to make this all nice and flat to the head. I'm pulling everything now to the middle of the brows. You do want to look like a unicorn. That is when you know you've done this section correctly. Make that as flat as possible, as straight as possible. Take our elastic. What a little ponytail in there, babes. Now, as you can see, this is already very similar to the wolf cut, except for the wolf cut, if you remember how to do that one correctly, because nobody really knows how to do it correctly, you just pull all the hair into one up here. This one is a bit more... Okay. This'll be exciting. Okay, so... Brad says. I think that looks straight. I hope. I might have to get Bob's opinion because I can't really tell. Let me get my mirror here. That one looks pretty straight. Let's see this one. Oh, yeah. I think I'm fine. All right. Here we go. You know, I think I will keep this back here, though. I think he would be fine with that. All right. I like how Brad says, I'm proud of you. Good job. Made me. Makes me feel good. All right. Here we go. Now he said it needs, this needs to be really smooth. And like, P.S. I'm afraid for me too. Um, here we go. I feel like that mannequin doesn't have much more hair than I do though. So that's a good sign. Right? My question is like, how do I make sure that it's like when I cut it, how will it actually be even? I mean, like I understand can, like idea wise, but it seems like the hair could just kind of overlap in whatever way it wants to, right? Okay. Unicorn. Make it nice and tight. <laughs> I feel like, I mean, maybe it's a unicorn. I feel like unicorns maybe are up here a little higher, but he said right between the eyebrows. I don't even know if that's low enough. Maybe a little lower. There we go. This is ridiculous. It's more like the butt of a pony, really. Don't you think? Okay. Yeah, I see, like, this is definitely two different lengths of hair. This one's pretty even, but then we've got this thing back here. Alrighty then. Terrifying. Let's, oh, and whatever this guy is. <laughs> All right, let's go back to Brad and see what he says about this next step here. This one is less... So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep it that way. And then on the back, get ready. Flex your arms. You gotta do some push-ups before you do this because you gotta lift the hair right up. Grab the hair, and we're gonna do a really high pony right to the apex, the highest point of the head. If there's one thing you ever learn from me, it is the word apex. Actually, I don't want that to be the only thing you learn from me. That's kind of lame. I want you to be able to be the best hairdresser for yourself ever. That's my goal for you. Throw that hair tie in there, girl. We are already on step three. We are rolling and moving and grooving and it is going fast. That is our sectioning, baby girl. This is what you should look like. Half unicorn, half pony. Kind of vibing with it. I okay, time to get half pony. So I guess isn't this isn't the end of the pony. I feel like this is backwards. This is the pony end and this will be the, I mean, my head's on the wrong way, but you know, I think you guys get my gist. All right, here we go. Upsy daisy. So this has to be all the way at the very, 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 very top of my head. Thank God I was a cheerleader and I understand high pony. Right? There you go. Hair tie. Very top. Tippity top. Why is this called a butterfly cut? That's a dumb name. <laughs> Do, really this is the unicorn side right and this is the butt of the pony but i feel like if you're not going to call it the pony cut then you should probably call it like the maybe like a pegacorn or like a quail uh, well yeah but a quail would still be this way <laughs> like a quail's like like that right 
yeah, no matter how I look at it, it feels backwards, like as far as an animal goes. All right, we're getting to the scary part. Here we go. This is terrifying. I'm like, I'm getting short of breath. I'm scared. Okay, here we go. Uh... I'm ready to cut. I need you to do a little meditation for me before you do this. A little breathe in. Breathe out and a little bit of like concentration needs to be involved with this. Just like don't mess it up. Okay, and hopefully your hair is still wet. And if it isn't, grab a spray bottle or something. I don't know. Figure it out. Now, what we aren't gonna do when we start cutting is go like this and cut. We did put this at an angle on purpose. And we wanna cut in that same angle, continuing that line. Not like this. That's very important. Are you listening? Now, with the wolf cut and with the butterfly cut, it is so essential that you take enough hair off. I do see so many times where people but we'll just give themselves a trim with these, like this. That's not enough hair. This is not going to be visible when you let it down. What you have to do is you have to cut off a significant amount of hair to see this haircut really come to life. But I do want you to work your way up. This sectioning is super easy. You can start off small. You can cut off two inches at a time and work your way up. You definitely don't need to do the whole boom, nine, 10 inches off at once. So do experiment with it. Do not do it all at once. And don't tell anybody that I told you to do it if it looks terrible. Yeah, don't do that. Just, we'll just, just keep it between us. All right, but she is going to get a significant amount of hair off because she wants it. I'm going to cut off this much more. All right, that's like two, three inches. Okay, this is terrifying. All right, what do you say? Yoga? All right, well... I guess I'm just gonna go for the same length that he did because I noticed that this like weird chunk of hair I have over on the side is like, he cut it right below her lip and that's right where this chunk of hair is, right? So I say we just go for that. Obviously it'll get rid of this weirdness that's happening. You know what this reminds me of? Like those weird hairs you get in your chin and you're like, where did that come from? You have to go get the tweezers before anyone notices. That's like that. Okay, now I'm babbling to avoid it. So I bought this thing. Look, it has a level. Also, like Sheen or Timu or something, um, for cutting Tori's hair, because I was afraid not, I don't trust my fingers to be level. So apparently you take this thing, you go like this, and you clip it closed, and then you pull it down so it's nice and level. Let's see, I have a level here. Apparently this is level, which is, oh, except for I, did, I went too far. Let's try that again. Which is important because um, I wouldn't have actually done it right there. I would have thought it was not quite level. So apparently I'm not to be, oh, except for that moves. That kind of defeats the purpose, doesn't it? Make the level level, but all right, here we go. This is attractive. Okay, we're gonna go down to that spot right there. It says it's level. Like a plum bob. It doesn't look level, but okay. Here we go. Let's get these scissors out of here. These are serious. Ah. All right. Here we go. So this is good because I can flip it the way I would I can hold it. You guys, do you see what's happening? I think that's all of it. Ah! <laughs> oh my God. Okay. <sighs> all right. Here we go. Let's uh, let's watch some more Brad. Let's see how we're doing. All right. Oh yeah, baby. The first cut has been accomplished. We did it. We did that together. And you, you slayed. Next, we are going to try to cut off the same amount of hair. Instead of going all the way up, we are going to bring this one a little bit forward. And this one, I am going to cut off the same amount of hair. So about four inches. You can use your fingers to measure hair, by the way. Two fingers is on average about an inch. So I'm going to try and cut off about four inches off of this top while directing it forward like this. You can't see anything. Kenya. Woo! We did the cut. Congratulations. It is that easy. All right. And then we're going to let this. 
Okay. So I'm noticing that the back, look how thin, like the little ends of my hair in the back, like it's just really not much there. So I think I can just do this with my fingers. Um, so about four inches. I don't think I cut four inches off. What did I cut off? Let's see. Let's grab this piece here. So that little, it was one of those long pieces. So I'm going to say about there. Okay. That's more than that. Uh, well, yeah, but it's so thin, right? Like, I feel like I should cut the dead ends off. Shouldn't I? What do you guys think? I don't know. Crap. Okay. Ah. All right. I think that feels right. I don't know what I'm basing that on. Maybe a little less. Okay, here we go. I mean, it's such, it's like long, but small, right? Ah. Okay. That's the cut. Let's see what we do next. Ah. Down, and we're gonna see what's going on. If I don't like it, we can do more. You know, I will show you in real time if I don't like it. Oh, I like it. Oh, this is enough layering for me. <laughs> you will see how much more dramatic, in my opinion, this cut is than the wolf cut. Do you see how short? You don't see anything, do you? Well, you will see it when I'm dry, but her layers go up to about here. It is very much textured. It is giving life to her hair. Okay, now let's take this front section out. Let's let this go and let's see those face rimming layers. Ooh, look at this. That's what we want. Parting in the middle or wherever you part your hair. Let's get that in there. Fierce, fierce, fierce. This haircut gives you a lot of face ring layers. Now let's just connect the dots here. All right, this is the last and final step. See how this in the front is a bit shorter than the layering in the back. And we have this kind of like, whoosh. we're just gonna subtly Get rid of that on an angle. Just connecting it. Don't do too much, please. Just do a little. Boom, stop, stop cutting. Now we are connected. Some of you- Okay. I feel like that's gonna be actually the hardest part because I mean, you could cut this too short or not cut it enough, but I mean, it is what it is, right? But that looks a little bit more. Oh, he took this one out first. All right, here we go. Let's see, oh yeah. That is definitely, actually it looks good. I don't hate it. What do you guys think? I think it looks fine. I think it looks even-ish. Does it look even to you, Bob? I can't really tell. Ish. Ish? Like, correct. <laughs> uh, I think it's longer on the side you just touched. Are you sure it's not just the way it's sitting? Mm. Yeah. I can't tell. Uh-oh. Okay. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's longer over. No, it's good. Okay. I think. Whew, you that scared was, me. I could always adjust if I need to later, but I think also you've got no, I have scoliosis, so I'm crooked. So that can be a little off-putting. All right. I feel like the front's the scarier part. <sighs> All right, part it in the middle, just cause. All righty. Let's see. Oh, it's definitely really evenly layered. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, look at, it's like Brad knows what he's doing. And I really don't have, I mean, just this tiny, he's right. Yeah, it's just a tiniest little bit of where it connects. Like, I don't know how well you guys can see that because my shirt, this wasn't a good day to wear a shirt. Like, I should have just worn white. But if you look, I think right. Just there. It's like there's just a little teeny spot, see, where it's long. Uh, uh, problem is, I don't know how to cut my own hair at this angle. There we go. There. Okay, and then. Oh, I'm sweating. This is terrifying, you guys. Where is the little spot there? It was. Oh, I just saw it. I don't know. Maybe I don't have it on that side. Do you see it? I don't know that I see anything. Well, this side seems to be fine. It seems to be just like it's fine. Oh, wait, no. 
There it is. Right there. Ha ha. Yes, where it suddenly got kind of longer. There. Okay, that was minor. <sighs> All right, here we go. I'm going to curl my hair. So I'm gonna, well, yeah, I'll keep it in the middle. I'm, I have such thin hair that I can curl my hair in like four pieces. So this is how I like to do it. I start with, I guess I'm a little shorter. Okay, I'll have to go back to that one because it's shorter than I expected. I start like this and then I just let it out a little bit to get the ends in there because I don't like the kinky end look. Let's see. I'll do quick curls, just a few. All right, Brad. Oh, look, I can see that's like that little piece. I can cut that later. You can see the little spot that didn't connect. That's a handy thing about curling iron. You can tell when you roll your hair up if it's even or not. I guess it's a little different when you just, um, whoop, I missed. Did it curl? Good enough. I guess it's a little different when you just layered it, though, because, of course, then it's not going to match. Kind of the point. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am sweating. That was terrifying, but I did it. And like worst case scenario, I grow back a few inches of hair, right? Cause I don't think I cut off as much as it seems like because it, it seems like, you know, as your hair's pulled over your head, the longest layers are like shortest at the top, right? So I think I'm more evening up the long at that point. Does that make sense? You can see my short hairs here from trick as they call it, trickster. Let's see, we'll ignore those guys. After this, what time is it? What time is it, Bob? 4.21. 4.21. After this, we will do a very quick um, little application of our DIY lash extensions for two reasons. Reason one, I noticed something that I thought was a cool thing. My lashes are so um, slippery that I feel like it's like hard for them to grip stuff. And I noticed if I put the sealant on first that um, it stays better. So I thought that were longer anyway. So I thought that was a cool thing. So we'll do that really quickly. And also because we're having a Valentine's Day sale, BOGO, so two for one for the kits, for the DIY lash extension starter kits. So always good to have a, a little reminder. All right. There we go. My hair is layered. I don't hate it. And I think, you know, once I wash it, dye it, and get it all like floofy and, you know, clean and fluffed up, I'll, I'll post a picture tomorrow morning after I get it all fluffed up. But there we go. We cut the hair. Oh, one other reason. I guess there was three. We also have trees back in. Yay. So we have our lash cluster trays. There's 140 clusters on a tray. Um, regular price is $35, but they are 25 right now. Plus you get another 10% off if you um, get any three items. So what is that? Another $22.50 off. So $22.50, or no, $2.50 off, so $22.50. Okay, so, and I love these because you have sizes 10 to 18, which is great. So you can start with short and with long or anywhere in between. I really like having the variety. All right, I'm grabbing this. Okay, so here's the difference. We're going to start with sealant. And you, you guys know this is so quick and easy. So I'm going to put sealant on. Could have done this while I was curling my hair because I let it dry. But... Okay, we'll let that dry just a moment. Pile of hair in front of me. It's awesome. This is also good for this. There we go. Letting it dry, letting it dry, letting it dry. It only takes a minute to dry. Not even a minute, like 30 seconds. All right. I'm going to get my, that was attractive, right? Get my old lady mirror here. Because we all know I will not be able to see what I'm doing otherwise. Move my mirror over a bit. So I'm going to lean in so you guys can see better. I kind of like my hair. Like, that's a nice, like, staying out of my face thing going on. 
Okay, now, so this is for doing them um, if you're just gonna wear them like three, four days, right? So I'm going to take now the bond side and I'm gonna use it like a mascara, pulling my eyelid up. I'm just gonna do that whole lash. Okay, and then I'm going to take one of these. I'm gonna do like a 12, I think. I've got my tweezers here. Take about the package. Tweezers, these are brand new ones. I made the mistake of not washing my tweezers after I did my sealant and my tweezers got really sticky. So I'm just a big deal to get another pair, but um, just make sure you wash them so you don't have to get another pair. All right. Here we go. Grab one of these on a tweezer. I think, yeah, I'm gonna go with a, actually I'm gonna do a 10 and then a 12. I'm just gonna do two. So like a half lash, just for speed. Okay, we're gonna take a little of our bond. My glasses on, cause I can't see it. The bond. That right there, just on, can you see? I'm gonna put just on the little band. This doesn't have to like dry or anything, just give it a second. All right, I'm always like, what's the best way to hold on to this guy? Me and my shaky hands. All right, so this will be the inside one. The nice thing about this is they grab each other really well. So it's really easy to put them on this way because the two bonds just go boop to each other. You can do it without the second bond, but I just like to have both. I'm going to go up to 14. I'm going to go 10 and 14. I think that would look nice together. Normally I would trim off any little edges. Well, I can because you know what? I do have scissors here. Really good ones. So let's see. This one does have a little edge. Best if I don't. If I can do this with my shaky eyes, anybody can, or eyes, hands, with my shaky hands. My eyeballs aren't shaky. Blind, but not shaky. At least I got that. Put a little on here. Focus this way. Inside. Yellow blow. See that? Pull that up. It's kind of hard to mess up because it wants to stick there. As I say that, as I stick myself in the eye. Let me just use my fingers. <laughs> it's like, no, I really do want to stay here, though. There we go. I think everybody kind of has their way. There we go. Boom. Now we take our sealant again. The easiest way to do this is to use the sealant on the tweezers. So much easier. You avoid stickiness, all that. Just coat those. Just make sure you rinse it after you're done, like I said. And then we seal. Just give those a nice squoosh. And there we go. Lashes. Yay. Okay. I'll do the other one later because I know we're running late. Okay, guys. Huh. We did it. We got through the haircut. All is well. I will see you guys next Thursday. Bye.